I welcome you all on behalf of Greenwich University to this webinar session. The pandemic has sent shockwaves across economies affecting agriculture, industry, as well as services sectors, bankrupting businesses around the world, causing millions of job losses across regions. Uh, I think uh, some businesses are doing well uh, uh -huh. because they have uh, tried to adapt to the situation. Think about e-commerce as an additional dimension to every business. Is there a potential for it? All of us know that uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has uh, touched upon every life uh, across uh, all the continents. In countries like Pakistan, like India, Bangladesh, we can't to have uh, longer lockdowns. Uh, yeah. uh, don't have, uh, the government does not have the resources to support the masses. Several questions have risen while neither there's a definitive end line for COVID-19 nor a scientific conviction on the possibility that there are no other viruses like this. You understanding the leverage of providing your product or your service in a virtual environment increases your market because when you restrict your space, you restrict your place. You know, you have to see the problem, you have to decide and you have to work on the solution. Uh, we'll have to think how can we reach our customers how can we uh, go to them? Now they can't come to us to an extent. Companies are also promoting the work from home culture. So if yeah. COVID is a global problem, I see that the every business owner should also see it in, as, a, as, a, as a matter of fact, as, as a potential uh, 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 raw material for innovation mm -hmm. and creativity in order to begin to align themselves towards new models of service provision or put it right. to actually provide this problem. Many MNCs, they are now creating a fund uh, for this COVID-19 support. It's not only for uh, like uh, your own country, like it's like for MNCs. The shops are closed. There's no income. They have to pay rent. They have to pay utility bills because these guys are not going to let you go. And there's nothing coming from government. Most of the time, don't find the time to actually research more and study more on that subject matter. You know, we can't wait for another six months to take a decision. Now the decision has to be taken now and today. So I think every company needs to invest in IT because uh, this uh, really would go a very long way for them. Even if pandemic, uh, you know, if, if they're uh, over with COVID-19 and if they're beyond, uh, they just cannot live without IT efficiency anymore. All the plans were successful just because of the technology.